I can remember when electronic drums started showing up in the music world. Those early drums were hard slabs of plastic that felt nothing like a real drum. The, the worst part was that they didn't play like a real drum. No matter how hard or soft you hit them, the same dynamic resulted. They were cool at the time, but then something happened. I can still remember the first time I went to a clinic and a new line of electronics were rolled out with velocity sensitivity. Hit the drum soft and a soft sound would result. Hit the drum hard and a harder sound would result. It, it was amazing and a real game changer for electronic drums. Electronic keyboard players had been enjoying this added dynamic for years and now drummers could express the full dynamic range of their playing capability. I recently found myself marveling at this amazing invention and realized that there are all sorts of amazing modern day applications that we have yet to explore with velocity sensitivity. So I went to work creating a few inventions that I believe will be of huge benefit to mankind. My first invention is a velocity sensitive snooze button. Let's face it, we all have our different methods of hitting the snooze button already. But what if that snooze button could sense your need for a few extra minutes of sleep based on a desperation level that is communicated through the force applied during the hitting of the snooze button? A simple button push would only give you an extra three or four minutes, but a full on drop the hammer I can't adult today blow would result in an extra 12 or even 15 minutes of sleep in the morning. And what about those times when the remote control battery to your garage door opener is running a little low? Now our natural tendency already is to push the button on the remote a little bit harder. Now this whole concept normally defies all known understanding of electronics because pressing harder on a normal remote control does nothing but release a little tension from our moment of frustration. But what if that tension could be transferred in the form of energy for the remote control? My invention would capture that tension energy and give the remote control a little extra boost it needs to finish the job. Or how about when your computer lags when you click on a link on a website and it doesn't seem to want to respond? Our natural instinct is to click on the mouse harder, which we all know won't work. With my latest modifications to the existing mouse, a subroutine is triggered which temporarily overclocks your tired old computer system to boost its responsiveness based on your level of frustration, which is determined by how hard you click your mouse button. Problem solved. And finally, what about when you are in your car? We all know that the normal car horn can fall short of the intended message we really wish to send depending on the situation we find ourselves in. Sure, the happy little horn is great when we want to say hi to someone we're passing by, but that horn might come across as a little rude when we find ourselves behind someone checking their Twitter feed at a stoplight and all we really want to say is, it's green, friend. And then there are those times that we find ourselves wanting to honk at that guy that doesn't wait his turn on the highway. And of course, we all know that we all have those times when what we really want to say is, are you trying to get us both killed? <laughs> Ephesians 6.18 says to pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Note that it doesn't say to pray when we have a need or to pray when it's convenient. It says to pray with all kinds of prayers and requests and to keep on praying. We are encouraged to apply ourselves to prayer, to put more into prayer than we think necessary. Maybe, just maybe, that's the best velocity concept of all. Something to pray about, don't you think? Exploring the elements of faith can be a lifelong pursuit. Knowing what questions to ask can be the hard part. If you like what you saw here in this video, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube or like and follow on my Facebook page. My goal is to have a new video uploaded every week. More importantly, I'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts with me about what the video means to you, or if you have a faith question or video suggestion, send me a message about it. I'm not going to tell you that I have all the answers, but I seriously enjoy the exploration process, and especially with others. In addition to YouTube and Facebook, you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, or my written blog on Tumblr by searching at Rev Chris Hall. Please feel free to share this video if you think someone else could benefit from it, and thanks for watching.